I like template number three. Template number three again has additional marking lines. This is, I call this the bell template. So this is great if you wanted to do an insert to make like a bell, okay? And I'll show you some examples of that in a second. Um, it's got two different, three different curves. This curve, this curve, and this curve, depending on how sharp you want it to be curved, and then the different angled lines. But it's also great to combine with other templates. So this is template number seven, which is the triangular template. And I put these two together to make this balance, which I'm going to give to Monica in a second. She's going to slide it up on a rod so you can see how it looks all gathered up. But you can see how the lines just kind of continue here. So we continued these lines, and so the template just goes on and on like that. It's got the long pieces and the short pieces. Okay? And that's template number three. Let me show you how template number three is in conjunction with some other of the treatments. The one behind me, I have template number five is this part, and then this is template number three. And you can see the curve, okay? This is just a real basic window treatment. This can be mounted um, with um, just little hooks. You could do it with, um, you know, the little medallions or finials. You could actually tie it onto a wood pole. So there's a lot of ways that you can do it. This is actually the same treatment done mounted on a wood pole with a heavier fabric. And instead of gathering this, I just did it as a pleat. But this is, again, template number three right here with template number five. Okay, and that's that same treatment. This is template number three also, done with template number five. And the difference between this one and this one, these two, the template number five is done right side up with the wider part at the top. That's why it's doing a, a drapey thing here. This one has the wider part at the bottom. And what that does is that creates a more exaggerated bell effect for template number three. So when you look at this, template number three seems to be more bell-shaped or more flared out, and it tends to show that more. I cut this with the upper curve, so you see a lot of that curve, which means that the lining is exposed, and I've done a nice flat piping on this window treatment to show you. But again, same pieces, great different looks. Monica slid this on a curtain rod for us so we could see how lovely it looked when it's not flat. And you can see, we, because we use a really nice contrasting lining, it shows, these are our bells, this is the template number three right here, in conjunction with template number seven. And see how the, the scenery repeats itself each time, each time it's in the same place. And that's what is a mark of a good window treatment.